The market is trying to anticipate when the US Fed will hike rates. But will traders be any wiser after today's FOMC meeting? The FOMC meeting is, uh, should always be highly anticipated, and, and especially because we're getting close to that tipping point. And that's what people are looking for, is the FOMC uh, statement tonight trying to point us towards uh, shifting our odds of when that tipping point is going to happen. <laughs> Currently, the market expecting very low odds of a September hike, and uh, I think there's some risk that we see, and I'm a bit biased towards us seeing them hinting that it's maybe more likely than the market is expecting. I think the Fed wants to cover its back in case the next two data cycles, which we will see before this meeting, come in with stronger U.S. data. Uh, that is for the July uh, time period and the August time period because we'll get both of those coming into that September meeting. A hawkish tone from the FOMC could see the dollar strengthen against other major currencies. Well, I mean, in past weeks, the, the big dollar strength that we've seen, and, and the dollar strength has been a bit mixed in places, but the, where it's clearly been strong is against the commodity currencies on the weak commodity uh, story. We've had a little bit of risk off as well during that period, which tended to support the euro and support the yen uh, as an isolated uh, feature. So I'm wondering if we see a more hawkish Fed, maybe the focus shifts a bit back towards uh, uh, euro dollar downside, dollar Swiss, which I think is very interesting. We actually have a long position on in dollar Swiss and possibly dollar yen. But there still would be the uh, focus on commodities if we're seeing a stronger dollar. And, and again, Aussie dollar and, and the likes could, uh, could, uh, could head lower. So. Uh, that, that's what I'll be interested in seeing is, as well, of course, the dollar picture, which currencies are the focus if dollar strength does come back here. Traders will be watching incoming data for further clues as to when the Fed may hike rates. And here are the numbers to watch out for. Well, we do have a, a GDP number tomorrow. There could be some focus on that if it's an especially bad miss uh, or uh, it beats expectations. Uh, I, I really uh, always object to strong reactions to GDP data. I think it's a sort of a flawed measure of what's going on. I think it's really next week's big uh, ISM surveys and, and especially the payrolls uh, data that comes in for July that, that will be uh, more important in terms of gauging uh, the strength of the U.S. economy and, and what the Fed's likely actions will be.